All right, guys, here we go. Episode 47. This week, play against Notre Dame. This is, I'm pretty sure, the last game of the regular season for everybody. They are exceptionally good, man. I mean, offensive-wise, tearing it up. Um, our top players, we got Hurd, Matthews, Greer, of course. That's how it's been all season. Nothing special, nothing new. They got a quarterback, a center, and a halfback. Wow, 99, 99, 98. They have an injury to their wide receiver, but nothing, nothing super special. So here we go, man. Notre Dame versus Mandy, number six versus, or they were number, yeah, number six versus number 17. And the first quarter, they get the ball first, third and five. Trying to make something happen here. I'm bringing a little blitz action. Trying to take it, get, catch him off guard. Comes through and bam, absolutely levels them there. Fourth and 12. A little safety blitz. So they settle for the field goal here. And Moore's trying to get the crowd pumped up. Come on, get Kara. Get Crump. Let's do it. Let's do it. And kicks up, and it is boink off the crossbar. <laughs> no good. No good. So they don't get the ball. So they're bringing a little pressure on me or showing a little blitz. Audible out of it. Second and five right after that. Trying to make something happen here. They're still showing that blitz. They're bringing it to drop back to pass. Get drilled as I throw it. Switch to the <laughs> Schrodinger and catch it myself. Catch it myself. That is a huge big gain. User catch. Luckily, make a big play. First pass, 41 yards, big, big game. First and 10, a little run play up the middle, and Stucky goes, whoops, makes that guy absolutely miss, looks silly. My gosh, man. Look at that. Got last season, last season he had 1,700 yards rushing, and he, I don't know if he got that far or not this year. He got pretty close, but I don't think he broke it. So we get the ball back into the first quarter, first and goal. Hit Carrington a little out route, or a little flare route. Everybody else was covered. He gets almost there. Five yard gain, second goal. So we go back to running it again. See if we can't get stuck in another touchdown. He was kind of shut out last week. And up the middle and got it and breaks the school record for rushing touchdowns in a season of 14. I'm surprised I didn't hit that last year. I guess I guess he didn't get the touchdown. Somebody else did. But second and four at the, at the end of the first quarter here. They drop back a little draw play. Hurdles over my guy on the ground and tackle just short. Third and two. Seeing if they can't get in right here. Bringing the blitz again. I got a guy in a spot just gets quarterback runs, and he does a little read option and makes people miss like crazy. No catching him, and they get in on a 38-yard quarterback keeper on the read option. My gosh, their first score of the game. So into the second quarter right now. We're up 14-7 to and trying to make something happen here. Third and nine, drop back pass, and just dump it off to Stucky and step out of bounds. I mean, nothing really. Nobody was really open. Didn't want to force it throwing an interception, so I'll settle for a field goal. Because I already got a seven-point lead, so put me up by ten right here. As long as I can make it. As long as I can make it. So kicks up and money. Money. 45 plus yard field goal. My kicker's hype. Kicker with dreads, man. I like that guy. I'm gonna I'm gonna hate it when he leaves because he's kind of one of a kind. Kicker with dreads. You don't see that very often. Yeah, everybody's hype going into the half. We get the lead. Um 17 to 7. And look at that. We actually have more yards than they do, more time possession. They are even. 75 and 75. And we're running the ball really well. We start off the season throwing the ball exceptional. And towards the end, we've been running the ball a little bit more and getting advantage of it, man. Two minutes in into the third quarter. Second and two. Run up the middle. Stucky almost gets in just short. Yeah, we've already got 144 yards rushing. We're doing pretty good. So first and goal. Trying to knock it in right here. They got a little 3-4 or something going on there. Stucky's wide open. Bam! Gets drilled after he gets in the end zone. Pays the price for scoring. But that's his third rushing touchdown of the day. And we... We have the lead 24 to 7. And a couple of minutes later, uh, do a little read, like, looks like a read option, handoff, pull, break. Oh my gosh. Pull is gets laid out by the running back who breaks a couple of tackles. Made me miss a couple of times. And that's what happens, man. So I bring a blitz next play. This is a little, like a little screen pass Washington. He just kind of shoves him to the ground and takes off down the sideline. And Jackson, not quite there. And two plays, they go the distance. 54 yard touchdown pass. My gosh, dude. Can't tackle them. I'm playing at home, right? I have the advantage, right? Home field advantage. I have the hype. They don't. Whatever. So a little read option up the middle. Try to get it on third and three. Don't get it. So fourth and one. Have to settle for another field goal. I've made a 45-yarder already. I think my kicker can do this. I'm, I'm confident he can make it. Because, like I said, I like this guy. He's a really good kicker. And I'm going to hate it when he leaves. <laughs> Kicks up. And it is good. It's good. Another 45-plus-yard field goal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, man, my kicker did good. I think we ended up kicking another one. It's 30 to 14, minute and 55 seconds left. Drop back to pass. Has all day to throw, literally all day to throw. All day. Throws it back across the field. Hits a newbie. 
<laughs> That's a cool name. Hits newbie for the first down. A big gain right there. My gosh, couldn't make the tackle. They go a little no huddle. Very next play. Massey trying to get the, get the crowd hype. And drop back the pass. Lives it deep and just beat Washington. Pull misses a tackle. Somebody doesn't step out of bounds. Gets a good block right there. And another touchdown. Man, they get the two-point conversion. But I got the onside kick. So 10 seconds left, third and three. I've already made two field, three field goals along at 52 yards. Just trying to get more points for my guy right here. Perfect kick right up, right up the middle, right in the middle. Couldn't do that against Georgia. Couldn't do it against Georgia, but he does it against uh, Notre Dame. <laughs> we end up getting the win, 33-22 against a top-ranked Notre Dame. A lot, of, a lot of changes in the top, top 25 this this week. I can tell from what I've seen so far. Five consecutive wins, win a game, extra points. Sucky play of the game, 33 carries, 176 yards, three touchdowns. And we did, we did pretty good. Finished the season pretty strong. Lost to two, to two users this year and a computer because I couldn't make a field goal and that's pretty much how it goes games around the country anything that really matters Clemson lost number 24 other than that nobody else is ranked so that's all how that goes stat wise we had 218 rushing yards 138 passing yards had the ball for 20 minutes held the ball a long time players of the game Stucky Dawson and we'll be right back with the advance all right just got done showing the highlights from a game against Notre Dame ended up pulling out the win 33-22 Hopefully that can propel me a little higher in the, in the rankings. Don't think I'll make the conference championship, though. But we'll see. How everybody else did in Dynasty, as you can see, we only have nine now. We had two more guys drop out after last week, so we have three empty spots. I've messaged the top three on the list. Haven't heard a single thing back from any of those guys. So I'm moving on down the list. Their invitation is still open, so if they get back to me, they still have first dibs. But the next three people on the list, I will probably send a message after, after the bowl games, just because... Um, I want to I want to wait until the next season before before we get more people in that we can start fresh we don't have to worry about anything come into a program and get fired for it or something like that so I will send a message out asking if you're still interested and then I'll give you the credentials whenever we get to the whenever we get to the bowl week and more than likely after after we advance so that's the plan but everybody um, LSU ends up getting the win 42-17 Mississippi State ends up losing 34 to 15. Um, had to send them to uh, autopilot. Like I said, um, if if you can't play, just set it to autopilot. That's fine. It works for me. Instead of leaving the dynasty and rejoining, the other user can still play. Helps tremendously. I wish I'd known this a long time ago, <laughs> but I know it now. I know it now. Auburn ended up not playing his game against Alabama. I think that's his second game in a row, but I think all that's left is the bowl games so he, he'll get a buy until next year so it's all good man it's all good Penn State ends up winning 40 to 35 close game they are still number two Tulsa wins 76 to 28 golly Tulsa East Carolina wins 55 27 UCLA wins 38 24 and Ole Miss wins 34 15 so we're gonna advance it and we'll be we'll be right back all right, just got done with the advance. Got a bye week this week. I'm pretty sure everybody does. But what we're going to do is we're going to wait until Thursday night and advance it because I'm not going to be in town Friday through Sunday to advance it Friday night. So we're going to advance. We're going to wait, even though everybody's got a bye week. We're going to wait a couple of days then advance it, and hopefully I'll be back in time Sunday if I do have a game. If not, then I'll be back in time to advance it. But that's the plan. Um, I'll just loop both of those. Um, uh, advances into one video I don't know if I'll get the gameplay footage if I don't play for conference championship from the Italian because like I said I won't be in town to record it so we'll we'll figure something out but I got a bye week this week see about everybody else LSU's got a bye week this week they are number four Mississippi State is got a bye week this week I'm gonna set him back to active um, Auburn's got a bye week Penn State's got a bye week Tulsa East Carolina, UCLA, and Ole Miss. Everybody's got bye week, like I thought. But like I said, we're going to wait and see see what happens. So top 25, see what happens there. And 3, 4, 6, and 8 all lost. Wow. Wow, LSU. Their only loss is to Ole Miss. Um, so they are number 4 in the nation. Connecticut, who is Penn State's old team, is number 3. <laughs> Man, so we got one, two, and four. Um, Georgia Tech, who was number three, Arizona, lost to Arizona State. Um, they both left to the dynasty. That was the other two users, and the computer played it out. Arizona State won. 
Yeah, might be Notre Dame. Let's see anybody else? I moved up from 17 to 12. Mississippi State lost. They moved from 8 to 13. Um, Tulsa moves from 21 to 18. And Georgia is now ranked. And anybody else close? UCLA is almost ranked. ECU is almost ranked. So a couple of guys close, just not quite there. Media. Um, oh, I moved up to six. Golly. I jumped 10 spots in the media poll. Got one, two, four, and six. Mississippi State's number 14. Tulsa number 20. Not quite there. ECU, UCLA right outside. BCS, the one that matters. Penn State, Ole Miss, they both have a conference championship game. Connecticut, I'm pretty sure does. Maybe not, but I know they do. LSU only have one loss, but they're in the same division as Ole Miss, so I don't think they'll play for the national championship unless something happens to Ole Miss, but I'm pretty sure they're playing Georgia and not me. So BCS number 10, Mississippi State 13, Tulsa 20, UCLA 25. So a lot of people rank this year. Um, but not not quite not quite there. Conference standings. This is the one that's important. And Georgia has the advantage. <laughs> they are six and three in conference, same as me. They are five and one in the division, same as me. But they beat me, even though I have a better overall record, which sucks because I lost to Ole Miss and LSU and Georgia. And Georgia more than likely lost to Ole Miss, uh, LSU. <laughs> Let's see. They, they lost to Texas A&M and Mississippi State. They beat me in overtime. They lost to Kentucky. That's three people. Oh, man. That's three people in conference. But Miss Kentucky's the only one in in my division. Needed Auburn to beat them. They, they didn't. They didn't play that week. So, had to, had to sim it. I'd have loved for that to happen. So, not playing for the conference championship again. Um... American, Big 12, I don't think anybody's there. Big 10, Penn State's got it locked up. Who are they playing? They play Michigan State, which they shouldn't have any issues with. Conference USA, it's going to be ECU and Tulsa because they're in different different divisions, so they'll have to play each other. They'll be in the MAC. They'll be in Mountain West. Pac-12 is now lonely. UCLA, who doesn't get a play for the conference championship, the other two users um, ended up beating them this year. So it doesn't get a chance to play for the conference championship. SEC, Ole Miss, Georgia conference championship game. That's the way it's looking right now. I mean, we got three in the same division at the top of the conference, but that's that's how it is, man. That's how it is. And some belt, nobody. So yeah, a lot of a lot of people close, just no cigar. I have the advantage of not having any users in my side of the division because they they left or they switched divisions, but can couldn't pull it out, man. Has been a watch. Pluto, Jackson, and Jackson, and that's it. We got three users up there. Um, maybe maybe someone will win it. Pluto wins it. That's a true freshman winning it. That'd be that'd be pretty cool. But we'll see whenever we advance that far. Um, bowl projections as of right now. Let's see. It doesn't highlight the users, so I'll try to figure it out as I'm going. ECU versus San Diego State. I think they played once this year already. I don't remember. Baylor versus UCLA. Um, anybody? That used to be a user game. Um, Auburn versus Tulsa. Uh oh, user versus user. That could be a good, a good game right there. User versus user for that. Mississippi State versus Indiana. Um, LSU versus Connecticut. It's a. That, that, I was gonna say that's their old team, but it's not. Um. Arizona used to be a user. I'm playing K-State in the Cotton Bowl as of right now. And Penn State and Ole Miss in the National Championship. As of right now, they still have the Conference Championship games to go. But there is a very good chance they will play each other, which almost happened last year, but not quite. So, like I said, we're going to wait and advance it later this week, and then we'll do another video. It should be up Monday sometime with the advance after this week, and then after the conference championship. So that's going to be it for this episode. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see y'all next time.